Okay, today we're going to show you how to assemble our Royal Bench seat, uh, a memorial seat that can be used in parks or gardens. These seats can be made in a range of sleepers. Uh, some of them can be red gum or you can actually do it in treated pine or if you like you can even use iron bark, a slightly different colour. Uh, but for one that we've got here today we're actually going to use red gum and it's actually going to be a 75 by 200 mil thick sleeper that's been dressed. So this is what they tend to look like and the surface cracking or grazing that you can actually see there is just characteristic of uh, fresh red gum. We start the process by dressing the timber and then routering it all around to give it nice smooth clean edges. We also then pre-drill all the holes and once that's done then we give it a nice rich coat, generous coat of furniture oil just to get that lovely colour to come back out. In its composition are uh, two upright legs that can actually be embedded into the ground, two sets of seats that have been checked out with plates, a backing board and then four sets of uh, uprights for the legs as well. We start by tying the legs together and for this we need some liquid nails, a couple of gal tie rods and what we'll do is we'll put a bit of glue into each one of those pilot holes and drill those tie rods into a depth of 100mm. So. don't need much because that's going to ooze out okay. so we need a pretty strong drill here and we're going to drill that into the top to that full depth get it going the right way done so now that we have both tie rods in position and have threaded the second piece in, we can actually screw the top plate in and we're using M12 by 100mm long galvanised coach screws in there. Now we need to attach our elongated leg which is actually going to go into the ground onto the existing couple of pieces and don't forget to put this one upside down. Then we secure the very last section with a couple of where are they, nuts and bolts to make sure that we tie all of that together properly. Done. One leg complete is ready to go. So that's the top section where the seat will be bolted and that's the extension we've allowed for so that the people can actually put this into the ground. Okay to finish it off we need to just assemble the rest of the screws underneath all 16 so we just take our drill and should be as firm as it gets. Now the last thing that needs to be done is to screw the top back plate into the legs or the legs through so we put the bolt and the nice and tight. Beautiful so that's all complete now so we've got the backing section done We've got the famous TK badge, screws are all in, and this one's actually been engraved because um, it's a memorial seat. So, the finished product, if I can zoom back out, is there. A lovely seat uh, with the extensions going down below that table there that will go into the ground. But effectively, we've turned a couple of red gum sleepers into a beautiful seat. So remember, if you're buying this as a do-it-yourself kit, it comes in its five sections. The two sections of legs are actually pre-assembled together, so all the dowel rods and everything are already done for you. And all you need to do then is get the two sections, which are the seats, and screw them in down the bottom through the plate. The plate's already been put onto those legs so the 16 screws in all that hold that together 
and you'll then also need to put on the backrest and that's just simply putting two sets of screws through the pre-drilled holes. So it's pretty straightforward to assemble.